So it looks like we're finally going to get the Crystal Lake series coming to Peacock, focusing on the origins of Jason Voorhees. So after a court battle that lasted years between Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham, we're finally going to get some new Friday the 13th content. But that content is going to come with some challenges, of course. So if you're familiar with the court battle that went on for years between Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham, you know that Victor Miller won majority of the assets revolving around the Friday the 13th franchise. Victor Miller now owns the name of Jason Voorhees, Pamela Voorhees. He owns the story, the original story for uh, Friday the 13th, the first movie. He owns Camp Crystal Lake, at least the name of it and the story revolving around it. The counselors causing Jason to drown, causing Pamela Voorhees to seek revenge. Um, Victor Miller owns that entire story. Where this gets tricky is Sean Cunningham won the rights to adult Jason. Um, so the hockey mask wearing Jason that we've all come to know with the franchise, um, that now belongs to Sean Cunningham. Chances are, with the new Crystal Lake series, we're not going to see adult Jason, Hockey Mask Jason, in uh, Victor Miller's version of Crystal Lake. Unless, um, somehow, now that the court battle's over, they can finally put the differences aside, come together, and, you know, for, for the sake of the fans, create really good Friday the 13th content. So, what we know so far is that Adrian King is going to have a reoccurring role in the series. Um, and Adrian King, if you remember, was the original final girl who played Alice in Friday the 13th. So, I'd imagine she's not um, going to be playing that same character if they're going to be telling the origin story of Jason Voorhees and Pamela Voorhees. I'm not entirely sure what her role is going to be in this franchise. Maybe just someone completely separate from that character. Um... Kind of what Daniel Harris did uh, with um, Halloween, with Rob Zombie's Halloween. She came back and played Annie. So maybe just playing a completely different character in this story. But it's nice to see her back in the franchise. According to Victor Miller and Adrian King, this is going to be a origin story as well as a retelling of the first Friday the 13th. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'd imagine the story is going to revolve around um, young Jason and Pamela Voorhees. I'm assuming we'll get, you know, at least a whole season before we get to see uh, the counselors cause Jason to drown. Maybe over the course of the next few seasons, we'll see uh, Jason come back as a child and start to kill off camp counselors. So maybe they'll just kind of retell a different story at the same time leading into what we know happened in the original uh, Friday the 13th. Now, I've made it known on other videos in the past, I'm not a big fan of telling a lot of backstory. I always feel like that ruins the the mystique of the killer. Um, I think that's where Rob Zombie went wrong with Halloween, was uh, telling us the, the childhood story of Michael Myers, seeing him in the sanitarium. I think it took away um, from the character, made it a little less scary. Um, and the only time I think it's ever worked was in the Bates Motel series. That you know, they went back and they told that origin story uh, or a modern day version of the origin story of Norman Bates and, and his mother. And that worked. It actually led to a really good final episode, which ended up being a retelling of the the original movie Psycho. But again, that's a very rare case. I don't think often backstories really work. Um, so I'm really hoping that they take their time with this one. That's why I'm glad it's it's not being rushed. It's coming out in 2024. I think it's going to be worth the wait if they're willing to put the time in to tell a really good story with really good character development. That's not um, that's not going to ruin the character of Jason Voorhees. It's not going to ruin the mystique of Jason Voorhees. Hopefully. Now, with all that said, after the announcement of the Crystal Lake series coming to Peacock. Sean Cunningham made an announcement of his own announcing that he's going to reboot the Friday the 13th franchise. So, again, he owns the name Friday the 13th and he also owns the rights to adult Jason. So, he can make that work, but he's going to have to tell a slightly different story now because, again, that story of young Jason drowning because of the camp, uh, camp counselor is not paying attention to him, that story now belongs to Victor Miller. So, um, I think he's going to have to either ignore that entire thing and tell a different story, or he's just going to have to create an entirely new beginning for this to work. Again, unless 
the two of them have put their differences aside, and uh, Sean Cunningham is going to allow Victor Miller's Crystal Lake series to tie into the new Friday the 13th reboot. That would be fantastic, but I just don't see it happening that way, at least not at this point. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you excited for the new uh, Crystal Lake series? What do you want to see from it? How do you think they should approach it? Um, just let me know what you guys think.